through the steps of um, editing the text on your website. So if you are a student of mine, um, you're going to need to change out quite a bit of the text. You may need to add um, a new text box somewhere. You might want to change the font to something else that you prefer. Um, you may end up deciding you want to make the font a little larger. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. And I'm actually recording this sitting outside while my, um, while my girls are playing. So hopefully we don't get too much background noise with the birds and wind. Um, so let's jump right in. So um, you should see your website when you first log in. Um, again, it's going to look like this. You're going to select your site. Um, you can go straight to the little pencil tool so that you can start editing. And we'll let the website load. Um, from here, we're just going to start with um, one of the first pages. So um, if you go to um, the drop down from page here and select um, about. So remember in the previous tutorial I showed you how to delete out your um, pages that you didn't need and how to add one. Um, so we added the blog. So here for the about me, um, obviously that's not a picture of me there. So I would change that out and in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to upload um, images, how to put your own in there. Um, I'll even show you how to use some stock photos that are available on Wix. Um, so we'll get into that in the next tutorial. Um, but for now, um, if you go to where it says about me, you've got two separate text boxes. Um, the first one, um, unless you want to change the, the actual font itself to something different, um, for my students, I want you to just leave this so that it says about me. Um, the text below it, that box there, you would click edit text and then you can start typing. So for instance, if I wanted to say, um, let's see, let me think. Um, thank you so much for visiting my portfolio or we can say my website. Let me The sun is glaring on my screen here. Introduce myself. My name is Tanya and I am married with two daughters. Blah, blah, blah. You get the point. Um, so the more I type, um, it is going to expand the text box. It's also going to expand this container box. So you might have noticed that as I started typing, um, the amount of text that I had here is shorter than what it was before. So the white container box shrank, um, like shr it was shrinking up basically as I was typing. Um, as I continue to type, it's going to grow to get bigger. So you can see if I were to add more, how it just grows there. Um, so for my students, you need to make sure that you include some kind of portfolio or um, um, bio about yourself. Obviously, I would hope it goes without saying, you never wanna put too much personal information. Um, I think it's fine to include details such as um, you know, like you have two siblings or hobbies. Um, if you are in cross country or you play basketball or you're in band, anything like that I think is fine. Don't include your address, don't put your phone number on here. Um, when you graduate, again, this is for my directed towards my students. Um, when you graduate and you start a business of your own, if you do, um, then obviously that's a point where you could put your business address and phone number and, and things like that. Um, I will walk you through the contact page and how we'll set that up later on. Um, but for now, um, you're just gonna put a brief, um, just bio about yourself, tell everyone what you want people to know. And then I would just leave it at that. You don't need to get too detailed. Um, so changing the actual font. Um, let's say I wanted to make this a little bit bigger. Uh, right now the font size is 14. 
so I can um, highlight the text and then if I highlight the 14 and use my arrow up button um, you'll see it's getting a little bit larger so let's say I want to set it to 16 if I wanted to change a different um, change it to a different font I can select one from here um, so like if I wanted to do this one so you can see that it looks different now um, you might then have to adjust the font size a little more if you want to change the color um, this is a highlight color so that's going to put like a, a box around your font um, or if you want to change the actual color you know something like that which I think looks a little crazy but it's whatever you prefer um, You might occasionally hear my child scream in the background, so bear with me. Um, so if you if you want to change the format of it, so you want the text centered, um, you've got those options down here. If you want to space out your letters a little more or the lines, um, so the rows of the text, you can do that as well. Everything that you would want to do with your text is here. So it's pretty simple. Um, the last thing I want to show you is how to add text. Um, so. I'm just doing an undo so that this kind of goes back to where we were. There we go. Um, if I wanted to add a text box somewhere, if you go to the add button over here on the left side of the screen and go to text, you can select one um, just kind of to start, whether it's a heading. Again, you can go back and change the actual font later. Um, but if you wanted to just add in some more text, here, move it where you want, and again, you can edit it however you want. If you don't want it on there, if you want to delete a text box, just make sure it's selected and then hit your delete button. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, like I said, in the next one, I'm going to show you how to upload images and use Thanks the for Wix watching this video. Photos. Make Thanks sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.